Hey guys, so I'm ready to take a closer look at this trailer. I've realised I've not got my headphones in though, and I don't know what I've done with them. So, oh, there they are. <laughs> just on the floor by my feet you know how it is so um i tried i tried to do look at the trailer but it was like pure chaos so i'm gonna have another excuse me a second um i'm gonna have another go and uh we'll, we'll see we'll see well, well i'm a bit calmer now i'm a bit <laughs> i've watched it one, a couple of times now i've kind of got an idea of of what i'm talking about <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm going to have a, a, a more detailed look, a calmer, more detailed look. So let's slow this puppy down. Playback speed. Slow, please. Let's get going. So I have got subtitles on still. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll get into it. We'll see what there is to see. <laughs> Do you realise as well? Oh, not all images appear in game, guys. They may not actually be cows. They may just be a figment of our imaginations. Just to warn you, that's a joke that is cows in this pack. Uh, so here we go. So the girl's walking along. Uh, hello, viewer. I'm Harold. Wait, hang on. Have I got decent quality? Yeah. So llamas. We have llamas in this pack. Llamas can chew. Chewing llamas confirmed, unless that's not actually the gameplay. Um, so Harold has a bit of an attitude. He's got an English accent. He sounds a little bit like, uh, oh, what was he called? Oh, children's TV character. I don't know. Um, somebody's nursery. Oh, some of you all know. Uh, let's focus on the point of this video. Yes, Harold, let's do that. So uh, the girl there is like caring for the cow. The cow is loving it. She's giving it a good brush. I love that. I love that we can care for the animals. Um, you know, that we can like have a caring relationship with them. That's really, really sweet. So that was the picnics, the woohoo, lettuces, uh, sewing, milk, foxes stealing eggs, girl taking a selfie, can relate. Um, somebody doing that cowbell dance. <laughs> um, a kitchen, a bird hole, chicks, uh, milking the cows, lettuces, cool guy there eating food, canning, produce stalls, a cow, this lady and a llama. Like the, like the old lady, she looks really, really cute. There's a bunny, can relate, uh, a guy sleeping for some unknown reason, a cock, a lovely cock. Um, that's what this video is going to get. You're going to get this from me. I'm sorry. I can't be trusted. Uh, oh, there's a lovely well there. Do you see that well in the background? Can I point? Like there's a well. Uh, so there's these castle ruins, which are beautiful. Love a good ruin. Uh, it looks like you might be able to walk right the way up there. You can see there's people walking around this area. So hopefully that's accessible. That log bridge is very cute. That is very pretty. Look at that little uh, gazebo thing. Uh, so this is like a really pretty area. Um, there's like some new mushrooms on the go there. They look new. Uh, there's a little bunny there. Let's just quickly pause. No, no, no. Go back a bit. Go back a bit. Go back a bit. I want to. I want to see that more closely. Right. So, um, oh, these lights are nice. I think that's probably. Hello. Just lost my bunny ears. Um, I think that's pro might be like world decor. Maybe I don't know. It looks really pretty though. There's some kind of like planter thing back there that looks really nice, like a gardening station. I think that's probably decorative. Um, I don't think there's any new planters. They look like the base game planters to me, unless that's a planter, but I think that's decorative as well, like a big tire. Uh, she looks like she's got new hair. That looks like a cute little new top. New skirt, I think. Um, looks very, very sweet and, and like homely, like very cottage core. They've gone cottage core, haven't they? Full cottage core with this pack. Um, this guy here looks like he might have new hair as well. Is, it, is, like, is this like a little wanted? poster for the rabbit or something what is that what's going on there some kind of like fox thing here oh cornettos is that a reference to the cornetto trilogy i hope so sims team if that's a reference to the cornetto trilo trilogy appreciate you uh and uh a little happy llama thing going on there i'm just looking for clues i'm looking for more clues like subtle clues i like this little emblem as well that's very that's quite a british thing to see you see that on like uh it's like schools have a crest um so yeah that's that's cute so that must be like the, the henford on bagley crest um Love that. It looks like a little Coronation Street sign. Um, very, yeah, nice little British signpost there. <gasps> telephone box. Telephone box is confirmed. Love it. I'm here for it. Um, little fire in the background here. Nice little, um, 
nice little river running through the town. Bollards, love a good bollard. Uh, yeah, cute, cute little town area there. Um, a new little dress there. It's very Alice in Wonderland. Love the. It does look very British. It does look British countryside. I'll give it. I'll give it up to the Sims team. Sometimes Americans try to do British, and it's very stereotypical. It's like it's like when people put on like a, a green top hat for St Patrick's Night and a false ginger beard and drink Guinness. It's like yeah but no <laughs> you know it's a bit like mm. so but this is actually it feels very stereotypically like quaint english village not all of england is like this if you come to manchester you're going to be shocked but definitely if you go to like the outskirts and like the town and the countryside area you will find things like this um you know it's idealized like everything in the game but you know they've got a lot of stuff they've done a lot of stuff well is what i'm gonna say uh, i don't know if that's a new little cap there new little waistcoat they look like new pants she's got like a new little uh, you know uh grocery store outfit on there uh can't really see what else is going on in the background but this is the grocery store so this looks like one of those little shops that we get we've had them since city living little pop-up shop you buy your produce from there is what that looks like so cute cozy shop delightful villages so this is one of the new villages that they were talking about i don't i like i think it's like because they've got the crumple bottoms right agnes and agatha crumple bottom so it's like the villagers like seem like npcs you know they're gonna have a bit of character it's not like some random just made up sim it's like sims with a bit of law behind them who are like characters is the way that that seems so we'll we'll find out more about that as we go along um ooh, ooh, ooh. so here we go go here's mrs crumple bottom and this no this is agnes crumple bottom the traditional handbag wielding woman of our dreams and nightmares and this is her i think it's her cousin agatha so i like it and i like as well the cultural diversity because if you do come to the uk um we've got the um What's it called now? <laughs> the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth. Uh, we're, we're a member of the Commonwealth, and um, that means there's a travel between a lot of different countries from different continents. So uh, we do get quite a lot of uh, differentiation in terms of of culture. Um, so uh, that's nice to see that there's a, a good diversity of skin tone and cultural influences there with this i love the welly with the flowers in i wish that was a decor object like an actual welly with flowers in because that's really cute living for it um yeah this is another little stand so this looks like more of like a flower stand like a like seeds maybe like a gardening stand um she, mrs crumple bottom's telling this guy off so i think maybe agatha is going to be a little bit more friendly she looks a bit more cheerful in in terms of like the, her clothing colors i'm wondering if there's like a bit of mystery with her as well if you think about agatha christie she kind of like did a runner didn't she and um you know wrote murder mystery novels so i'm wondering if it's got some kind of like murder mystery to be solved around her maybe not but it'd be cool if there was um this lady here has like a new hairstyle with a little bow there's that cute guy from the other trailer that i'm definitely going to woohoo at some point um are they new shoes there's like some little like sandaly things i have to say a lot of the clothes are, are, are a bit the very cottage core i don't know they're a bit too twee for my taste. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of them. Um, you know, they're not exactly everyday essentials, are they? They're quite, they're definitely evoking a certain feel. I, it's not my favourite yet. I don't hate it. It's definitely of the pack, but I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it in the game. Uh, I do, I like it for what it is. It just feels like it's like in context, you know, um, rather than the like stuff that you just like wear all the time on all sims, but that's fine, you know, little bunny thing there. So yeah, he's getting good talking to. I wonder what he's done wrong, the poor guy. Um, that was quite a nice, having said that about the clothes though, that is quite a nice little outfit, isn't it? Like nice little layered outfit, little uh, denim, denim shirt jacket there uh, that's cute that is quite cute actually i like that and that hair is really nice so new hair there i think so we've got this pub scene again with the new hairs um really that was very very pretty uh yeah so we've got this like bob style with the bow in the back uh this one that reminds me of the girl i went to school with called carla so that's the carla hair for me now uh, there's the cute guy having a giggle there i wonder if they're in a relationship um and uh this 
old guy who I'm very intrigued by at the bar. Um, you know, people like I was joking myself on Twitter before about oh, every Sims pack needs a bar. It's like tri every Sims pack needs a bar venue. It's just the done thing. Yeah, every world has a bar. Um, but in the UK, uh, we do have pub culture. Um, I, I, I grew up in a pub from the age of about six to 16. I, my mum was the landlady. She kind of ran the pub as a business. Um, and now, um, since kind of like smoking ban, it's, it's more of like a, you know, pub lunches are more of a thing now. So you go to a pub to have a sit down lunch like the girls here, uh, and have a chat and have a catch up, have a drink or two and just chill out. So it's like, maybe you like, if you go somewhere, so if you went, if, you, if I went to the countryside for a day, or if I went to like the Lake District or the Peak District or like uh, the uh, like a, a park or something, you always find out where the pubs are and go and have a pub lunch. Like <laughs> it's a thing. Okay. So it's very, very, very fitting to British culture to have a pub. Uh, it doesn't, I'm not really spotting new drinks or anything like that. Maybe new food there. Let's just go back. Is that new food? I can't really tell from the trailer, but it, it, it could be. I mean, they mentioned crumb, not crumpets. What's the other thing that I'm trying to think of? Yorkshire puddings. Yorkshire puddings. I don't know. They're both made with milk. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's the thing. I really like the signage. It's got very cute signage. That's already in the game. That's base game, I think. So here you go. The toddler cuddling the chicken. I love it. I love that they've included toddlers and children with the animations, with the animals. Being able to cuddle the animals is so sweet. I love it so much. I actually have friends who, um, it's kind of like my children children's friends i know other parents who um have actually raised chickens in the back garden the children formed that bond with the chickens which got a bit awkward but like that is really cute and like they've got the little outfits on which is so sweet hello rooster um little tiny chick there so i think you can breed them it looks like you can breed the animals if you have a cock and uh and some hens really like this dress is actually very cute i would wear that dress well i like the little spots and um, the little see-through spotty bit. That's very, very cute. Definitely go and pick something up like, like that at um, Affleck's Palace, I'm telling you now, with the cherries on. Really like that dress. So um, a new door there with a the little butterfly over it. Very cute. Is it a butterfly or a little fairy? <laughs> um, very, very cute. This looks like a little new archway that you can stick on it. New border, the new... Uh, thatched roof really nice because the current thatched roof is very sulani ish uh, it's very tropical so this is like a proper british thatched roof so that's lovely and of course the chicken coop new archway there looking really really good um the like new toddler clothing as well it looks like i think the shoes are base game but pretty sure that top yeah that's like a kid's version of that adult top that we saw and those cute shorts there as well and of course the hairstyle the hairstyle is very very sweet um i like that little bucket yeah, I love a good bucket. Uh, so love that the animals um, can cuddle. I think you're missing the jar there, honey. Not quite, not quite. She's as messy in the kitchen as I am. Um, so yeah, she's doing the new canning. <laughs> it's a little, it looks like it says Joe or something. Um, yeah, so um, little... Um, canning station thingy here i'm glad it uses the existing hobs it's not like you don't have to have another object in your in your kitchen just for canning because i think in the sims 3 we had the canning station which i really loved the style of but um i think it limits its use so if you had a modern kitchen you don't want a canning station in it so it's like i like that it uses the existing hobs um because it just gives it more flexibility and it saves you having to have that extra object in the game. So uh, it looks like there's some kind of current jam there. I love, really love, like huge, like, I like it more than I should. <laughs> like, I really like the style of those little jars. I can't wait to have a grocery shop and have those little jars of produce all lined up on shelves. That's going to just, it's just going to, speak to a special place in my heart that I'm really excited for that. Um, I think, what does it say? You get like a huge variety is like 32 or something. Uh, so he's chopping there. She's yeah, they're just cooking. They're just doing normal cooking. I love this guy. He's like disco stew. Um, yeah. And then you do the canning. Like she's cute. Look at that. Old, oh, she's got an eyeball ring though. Scary. She's part of the Illuminati. She's in super, super secret 16 variants. Very, very towels of jam custards and veg. Um, yeah, she's in the secret, super secret super vamp squad or whatever it is that I called it from my uh, tarot video. So this is like lettuce. Wait, let's just go back. Did I miss any? 
Oh, the little bee window as well. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. So we do get like a new kitchen in the game as well. New kitchen. Uh, that's a really nice like hot pot, um, crock pot. Uh, that's cute. So cute, cute stuff in the background there as well. Cute build by stuff. That hairstyle is very sweet. I like that. Um, no tea cozies, like inside down there. Um, so yeah, so um, ooh, strawberry, what's that? Eggs? Is that mayonnaise? Strawberry, maybe mayonnaise. Cus or custard, yeah, it could be custard. Uh, raspberry, tomato, pumpkin, aubergine, and um, ooh, uh, mushroom. Uh, what's that? That's mayonnaise. Chocolate? Maybe. Um, I'd love to get chocolate. If we get chocolate as an ingredient, that's going to make me very happy because there's so many recipes like bait, you know, like the cakes and things in game that use things like chocolate and to not have that as an ingredient is just a shame. So that like bl blueberry, maybe blackcurrant blueberry, cow plant jam, controversial choice there, Sims team. We'll see. Uh, not sure I'm going to touch that one. Um, apple, uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, no meat, no meat. I think that's no meat. So that must be like a meat substitute. Um, all right, cool. Nice. Liking it. Loving it. Give it to me. Um, so here you go. So here's more of that process. It smells great. Shove it up your nose there. But Disco Stew. Um, disco Stew is making a Disco Stew. Lettuce conserve. So they screw off the lid and... How do they eat it? Do they put it on jam? They eat it with a spoon. So yeah, you go ahead. If you want to eat mustard, is this person, it, does that person have a masculine frame? I feel like this person could be a transgender sim. Just throwing that th just throwing that out there. Uh, yeah, really like that little bee window as well. Love Disco Stew. Like, here's the new Bob Pancakes for me. Like, you're getting woohoo Disco Stew. I hope these sims all make it to the gallery as well. Um, you know, I, I, I really like a couple of those. I like all three of those. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, you... you put things it sounds like you put things in the picnic basket and then you take the picnic basket with you is how that sounds a little bit like the lunch bags yeah like look so they've opened it there and the food's on the table so you can actually take the picnic table the picnic around with you but you have to pre-pack stuff so it's not like you click it you have magic food you have to actually put stuff in the picnic table which is interesting uh, sunflowers there, we've already got those in the game. I don't know why I'm pointing them out other than I was playing Minecraft before and mentioned sunflowers, so they're in my head. Really cute there. New hairstyles. I like that like curly one as well. Uh, this one here. Like, that's a very cute family. That's like, that looks like, it, I mean, it could be two dads with their own kids, right? It could be two separate families. But that to me is saying, I mean, that to me is saying an adoptive family. That looks like, a same-sex couple and adoptive children, possibly, which I love that representation in the game. I think it's good to have diversity in terms of uh, chosen families. That was the phrase that they were using in the live stream. If you watch the live stream with Singuru Bat and Singuru Duck, Singuru Bat and Singuru Duck, um, and who both such sweethearts, uh, they did talk about uh, representation and diversity and um, and and how these things matter. So. Yeah, really like to see that. Um, here's, here's Carla, my friend Carla from high, from school, grown up Carla, uh, brushing her sheep. <laughs> it's not a sheep, it's a llama. I'm so sorry, Harold. Uh, so yeah, you can shear the sheep. It's going to give you wool, which you can use for the new knitting thing. I don't know if it uses cross stitch, that's the one. I don't know if you can also use it with nifty knitting. I don't know if that's like, it makes, I think I saw something on by one of the gurus, but I I'm not confident enough saying not confident enough saying it. So stitch from reference. Look, she's she's stitching the scene. So how you like how you can paint from reference? I'm squeaking so much. Sorry, I'm on the squeaky chair. Um like how you can paint from reference. So it's like you take a photo of the world and game and then you can create that. You can also cross stitch from reference, which I wasn't expecting and I think is a very, very cool addition. So you can literally cross stitch anything that you can see in the game. You're not just limited to those um, those those other reference, 34 designs. So um, that's very cool. I love that that guy, he looks a bit like a Singu Grant, don't you think? Um, and yeah, so here's all the designs, like, like a little robin, a little cock, um, 
watermelons love a good watermelon harry styles can relate um and uh yeah oh those that lights are, like, are, are nice go back go back go back these little lights i really really like those i'll use those a lot i think in kind of like more like country type builds um stroke your armor why not give it a bit of affection give it a good scratch show it some love that those are, overalls are quite cute uh, don't spit at her. Be nice, Harold. Be nice. Be kind. Don't spit at her. Don't, you're looking right in her face. Don't do it. No, he's smiling at her. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, so the pond tool. So uh, I believe, uh, yeah, I believe you make the hole and then you fill it with water. Um, so some more of the build by stuff here. She's getting shown off some new bricks, some new tiles, some new doors, some new windows. As always, some new walls. I like the stone walls. Um, and then... Equally alluring is the ability to grow your own food, which we've always been able to do, but I think they've updated the recipe system to be more, so not the pre-packaged porcini, so there's more benefit to uh, make it, look at all the different mushrooms, like loads of mushrooms. Um, uh, here's the big watermelons, some big pumpkins, big lettuce, we also have the big aubergines that aren't shown here. Um, big aubergines, mm, love it. Very purple this scene, isn't it? Little rabbit. Uh, flamingos, toadstool thing, lady with the cherries, loving it, here for it. Oh, that's cute with the little watering can. Um, in a natural transition, so I'm currently accomplishing. He's got so much confidence, I love him. He's, I'm here for it. Um, everyone wants their hands dirty while doing. The, the swans are very cute. So I think you can place those on the pool. That looks like a, a, a pool that's been made. Um, so you can cook. Oh, look at his hair as well. Oh, I like it. I like his robe. Um, oh, she's so cute. Look at her. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Let's just go back because I was distracted by the hair. Love the kitchen. Like the little, like, um, this. Yes. Um, new, yes. 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 Just, I love all of it. I love all of it. It's a whole mood and I'm here for it. Um, yes, yes. And wooden wooden top counters as well, appreciate it. So like, this is what I wanted to look at more closely. Cordelia, Princess Cordelia. Cordelia's secret cottage. More law, I'm a whore for more law. Uh, so lot challenges, lot, hang on. I'll be moving on in slow motion. I've mangled that song. Charlotte Lawrence. Um, right, okay. So lot traits and challenges. So here's the lot traits. And then you have additional lot challenges. So the lot, they don't take, like off the grid isn't taking up a lot, a, a trait anymore. It's an additional thing. Right, yeah, it's in addition. Right, so what they've done is they've taken things like off the grid that's like a challenging a uh, lot trait and they've moved those to lot challenges so you now you can have maybe like environmental or skill related lot like the bonus like the perk lot traits that help and then lot challenges if this is the gameplay if this is the ui it looks like the lot challenges are now separate so things like off the grid and maybe things like um you know the volcanoes in Solani, that lot trait, or uh, maybe like some of the eco-friendly ones where it makes the trash pile up and stuff. Those things that make it more challenging now look like they're in lot challenges. So off the grid is an existing base game one. We've now got simple living, which looks like it's the will make that magical fridge that's always full obsolete. So now you have to buy or grow ingredients. There's no more free ingredients with that lot trait. And I love that. So a huge thank you for the Sims team for doing that because that's the type of gameplay that I really, really like. And it's important if you're doing things like rags to riches or, um, you know, like off the grid living that you don't just have free food. You have to like that kind of survivalist element has, has kind of been difficult in the Sims 4 because you can always just get food from anywhere. So I really like that. I'm wondering how it affects uh, grills out in the world. You know, the barbie, like uh, the picnic areas. I wonder if you can still get stuff for free there or if you have to have stuff in your pocket. But because it's a lot, it's per lot, it's not per world. So could be something there with that. But I'm liking it. So it's going to, it's going to really create that link between gardening and, um, cooking so fingers crossed 
all recipes will have an ingredient. There'll be nothing that has like no ingredients and hopefully they'll all be updated with sensible ingredients. For example, like I said before, like the cakes that should require chocolate should now hopefully require whatever that, that chocolate substitute or whatever it was that, we, that I, like it looks like it had. And wild foxes. So even though it, probably wild foxes are tied to this world in a similar way to how cats and dogs are kind of tied to Brindleton Bay, you don't necessarily see them in other worlds. That wild foxes trait means that you'll probably get foxes no matter which world you're in. I assume, okay, big assumption there, but I, I considering how things normally work, that's how I assume it works. Look at the little turtle on the log. Um, now you'll have to face the facts of foraging for your ingredients yourself. Yeah, so you have to, it, it's it's survivalist gameplay and a lot of people love to play that way, including me. I have had like uh, rags to riches gameplay. I've done freaking gameplay. I've done homeless gameplay. So um, yeah, Yorkshire pudding. Hi, Gran Gran. Uh, mildly, mildly famous, mildly famous Yorkshire pudding. Um, she's so cute. I love that cardigan. She's adorable. I want her in my game. Um, so here you go. Even the kids can collect eggs. So the kids can interact with these these objects as well, which I love. Love the milking interaction. Super cute. They are some kinky stockings, lady. Like that. Is, that is a kinky look. Love those shoes as well. I need to go and find my shoes that are a bit like that. Um, uh, really, really nice. So he's kids can cook now as well, which is brilliant. Kids can cook and they can garden according to the live stream. So I hope that's going to mean that children can do other things as well soon, like use other um, um, objects in the game more. I'd love more inclusion for toddlers. That couch is so nice. That couch is really, really nice. Really like that couch. I've wanted a couch like that for a long time in the game. So excited for that. That that little table as well is very sweet with the little. Um, with a little tea cloth. I kind of like the ones that we got in paranormal stuff, but I didn't feel like we got enough options. So I'm happy to have another kind of tea cloth table. So this is all the new recipes. So what have we got here? So that's a Yorkshire pud. Right, I'm sorry, Sims team, but you don't ever get a Yorkshire pud on its own on a plate. I mean, yes, you do, but you're not meant to. A Yorkshire pud is like a side. You get it on the plate with your roast beef, with your mash, with your tofu chicken, whatever it is you're having, with your Sunday lunch or your Christmas dinner, you get a Yorkshire pudding on the plate. You don't get a Yorkshire pudding on a plate like that. I I mean, I do because I love them and they take like minutes to cook and you just like, yes, okay, but you're not meant to. That's just me being lazy. This looks like a scone maybe. Um, Normally in the UK, we have round scones, not triangular scones. So um, I don't know what that is. Hot pot, maybe, unidentified mush. Um, <laughs> eggplant jam, yum. Uh, that looks like like spotted dick or something, like uh, bangers and mash. Um, crumpets, love a good crumpet. Some kind of cake there. Ch cheesecake, maybe mush jam roll or something i don't know british person is confused confused in british it's a mystery we'll find out we'll find out cottage pie maybe that's cottage pie -do 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 -do. Love that, love that transition, <laughs> batman transition moving on to something that resembles animals um that I resemble animals. So this is like a little bird tree, like a birdhouse, but it's a tree trunk. Uh, ducks on the lake, bunnies, love it. Well, love it. Floating cow sheds, gotta love it. Um, it, it, what it likes an interesting naming. I feel like that's a little dig at the Sims team who have named it the cow shed. Does what it says on the tin, not even a cow shed, animal shed. Generic animal shed, like the hay bales, that's cute decor. Um, I don't know what my elbow's doing up here. Hi, I'll just talk to you like this. I shouldn't do that. I haven't, I forgot to shave my armpits today. So they were a little bit fuzzy. So enjoy that. Uh, so yes, cows, so exciting. The movement lives on, justice for Bessie. Cow, pa cow plant said what? Um, yeah, love it, love it. I love that I can get my own ingredients from animals in the game. It's my kind of gameplay here for it and i love that llamas are finally in the game llamas have been a thing since the sims 4 and, like you used to get llama phone calls and things like that um he's just asleep out there bless him uh don't no they don't die you're lying to me you're lying to me my llamas are gonna live forever 
if that's not a thing I'm gonna mod it um, I love that you can woohoo in the cow shed as well like big players sims team that little dungaree set is very cute as well I really like that Carly naughty girl um, <laughs> make hay while the sun shines yeah um, more doors and windows there that are really really cute for your for those cottage core halls out there you've got some decent build by um and uh yeah more animal love here that so it's got like that's like a little bit more of a cowgirl outfit for those of you that want like the more american styling you know you can stick um shiz cow shiz missed that when i did the the uh the read through um Oh, look, she's snuggling with it. The cow's so happy. I love that you can make your animals happy as well. Like, you can brush them. Like, look how happy that cow is. I want to be as happy as that cow. Why isn't anyone brushing me right now? <laughs> I want to be a happy cow. Uh, cute earrings there as well. They're like little, like, strawberry earrings. They're very cute. Woodware in real life. <gasps> oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Like... She does it and then it's like, mm, 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 mm. yeah, did I do it? <laughs> did I do well? Love it. Love the cowbell dance and the cows joining in and jumping around. Jump around, jump around, shake your cowbell, cowbell up and get down. So she's feeding it, looks like, like flowers there, feeding it flowers and then it goes and turns into a magic rainbow cow and it gives you rainbow milk. You're wasting it. God, Sims are so messy. Getting it everywhere. Um, how could you? Uh, so it gives you like magic milk. So there's all different colours of milk. So I assume there's like strawberry milk and things like that, chocolate milk. And then maybe some like crazy magic ones as well. Uh, don't fly the coop just yet. Love a good co cock and bull story. Love it. Um, and uh, yeah, so... I like the little hay bales as chairs. Love the little chicks. So yeah, I think you can breed the chickens. Uh, you can domesticate, domesticate, domesticate your animals. Uh, the, the chicken cube is adorable. I love the style of it. It's very, very sweet. Very cute. I, I think I would have liked like a, a more basic version though as well. You know, like a, a more, a more scruffy version. But that's kind of, it's just a little side thing. It's not anything that I'm salty about. Um, so here's this scary chicken. It's like, Reference to Charles the Evil Chicken. If you knew the, the chicken coop from the, the Sims 3 store, there was an evil chicken. Uh, but you, he'd tell you puns and stuff as well. So so that's good. So there's that rooster. Uh, the one with the little fez. Like, very, very cute. The animal clothing is a cute touch. Wasn't, like, wouldn't have thought of that, but it's cute. Here comes the little sneaky, sneaky fox. So it looks like the, the foxes can wear clothes as well. And he's sneaking in and stealing the eggs and tormenting the chickens. But you can get this alarm that like upgrade is an upgrade for the coop, and you can get this alarm, and hopefully that protects your chickens. Because I'll be really upset if I don't like it when Sims or animals die in the game. I play with aging off. No one or nothing hardly, very rarely dies um, in my normal off-camera gameplay. It upsets me. It upsets me. <laughs> I don't like it. So I want. I don't want my animals to die. And I don't want the foxes to kill my chickens. I'm really upset. Um, I like that it's in there, but I don't want it to happen. So uh, this very, very cute little uh, country town here, the, the kind of um, village fair, which I love. And you can submit your chickens, you can submit your eggs, you can submit your milk, your baked goods, your um, overgrown vegetables, and you can try and win the competition. So I, I really, really like that. So this oh, is so cute with this little rainbow jumper on. He's, a, he's like a golden hen. He's a golden hen laying rainbow eggs. So you can get like unique chickens as well, like the black one, the rainbow one. Um, yeah, you can enter your cows, you can enter your pies. So I love it. I love that. I really like that in The Sims 1 with uh, cats and with pets in The Sims 1. You had like a pet judging competition. It'd be nice if that was a thing as well. Like at, like the cats and dogs could be included. But at, again, that's like an extra extra mile they could have gone. And they've already gone so many extra miles. They've gone around the world right, already. So um, yeah, like, it's, it's so funny. It's so cute. Is the cottage living lifestyle for you? Absolutely, it is. Yes. So you can win. You can take photographs of your animals. It looks like you can win rosettes. 
Uh, that clock's very nice as well. Uh, so yeah, I am I am so, look at the little animals on the roof too. I am so excited for this pack. Like I want this pack so badly, like give it to me now. Um, give it to me, I want it. Give me a cox. <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, but I don't, not that bit, not that bit, not that bit. We don't want to go there again. We don't want to go there again. So yeah, I'm like, I, I love it. I love it. Super excited for it. It's definitely, um, my sort of content. Like I know that you see me causing chaos quite a lot. Um, you generally see me causing chaos when I'm playing on camera, but off camera, I'm, I'm very cottage core. I'm very, uh, I like family gameplay. I like, uh, I like, my world to feel like it's all connected and something that I was really missing from The Sims 3 was that I used to um, have people who like I had a fisherman I had people who made groceries I had farmers they'd all supply the village shop they'd all go and buy I had mods so that you had to buy produce and also my town was in interconnected like you'd have to you'd have to go like if 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 I didn't play with my fisherman you wouldn't have any any fish. No one had, would have fish or like they'd have to go and do it themselves. If I didn't play with my farmers, no one would have eggs, no one would have milk. So I like the interconnectedness. I like the, the feeling of like what I'm doing with one family affects, affects the entire world. So very much my sort of gameplay. And I actually comp campaigned for a farm pack for The Sims 3 and we never got an actual expansion. So for me, it's like, it's about damn time Sims team to get a proper, a proper cottage core farming crafting type pack. Like, what took you so long? Stardew Valley, Minecraft, they're all there going, big books here, big books to be made. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 oh, look at that bed as well. I didn't notice that bed. That's really nice. Um, yeah, so very much. It's going to be one of my favorite expansion packs. Like, I, can, I just know now. I know now it's going to be, as soon as I get my hands on it, it's going to be like, I could not live without this pack. I could not play without this pack. Um, because it'll be so integral to my type of, of spitting on myself off camera gameplay. Very excited for it. I already know which sims are going to be farmers. So love the lot challenge. That simple, like that simple living lot challenge, if it works the way I'm hoping it'll work, is like everything to me. To have cows, chickens, and that lot trait, it's like that's the pack for me. That's all I need. Like brilliant. Everything else, like the rabbits, the clothing, cooking together, is all like icing on icing on the cake for me. Icing on the Victoria sponge. So uh yeah, it's all just perks. But Cows, chickens, lot tray, like recipes and gardening to actually mean something is like everything. And the world is stunning. So my last reaction to the first trailer was salty because I didn't like that thing that I complained about. Um but but now I'm 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 excited again. I'm excited again. That really I was excited anyway, and that kind of spoiled my excitement. So I'm back excited and I just want it. I want it now. Give it to me. I want it. Give me your cocks. <laughs> and with that note, I'm going to leave it there. And uh, do take care. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.